everyone. A warm welcome also from my side to the Glaston Innovation Days. My name is Jose Yepes and I will share with you in the next few minutes some information about thin glass pre-processing in the automati automotive glazing. Thin glass application is an ongoing, continuing trend in the automotive industry. Use of thin glass is on one hand driven by the CO2 emissions and on the other hand to increase the range of battery powered cars. The fact that windshields and sunroofs become larger and larger plays a role too. The manufacturing process itself, it doesn't change from the conventional process, but needs greater care on the setting of the cell. It needs additional stabilization on the handling, cutting and breaking, and on the grinding process. It needs lower cutting and breaking pressures, smaller cutting wheels, slower speeds, especially during the acceleration and the lifting on the handling devices, and experience to adjust the height of the grinding wheel to obtain a symmetrical C profile. What are the requirements on the pre-processing? Fine adjustable cutting and breaking tools are needed since the cutting forces and breaking forces are much lower than on regular thicknesses. Stable supports and smooth surfaces are needed on all glass touching points to avoid breakage. We developed a special jet ring who is not only cooling the grinding wheel but also stabilizing the glass during the grinding process. In a previous slide, I mentioned that the precise um, height adjustment of the grinding wheel is one of the challenges. We have to take into account that we are talking about glass thicknesses below one millimeter. To overcome this challenge, we offer a 2D scanner who makes this adjustment automatically. This saves time and increases the productivity. Well, let's have a look on a movie about how to process thin glass. In the movie, we will see uh, the processing of a windshield of a thickness from 0.55 millimeters. Left-hand side, cutting breaking machine. Right-hand side, grinding machine. And on the top of it, the handling device. Cutting breaking process, we start with the oscillary cut, go ahead with the shape cut, and then break the glass out. In this uh, specific example, we break it out with a template. Uh, we strongly recommend the template for very thin glasses due to the better edge qu breaking quality, but of course we could also do it without template. Here you see the special jet ring in action. The smooth surface is also on the suction cups, who is holding the glass on the grinding machine. The special jet ring provides also uh, a very wet glass. So only about 10 millimeters from the edges is a little bit wet, um, not a dry glass. Only, only the 10 millimeter from the edges is wet from cool down the grinding wheel. Okay, what's, what's our offering? So we as technological leader in the pre-processing of automotive glass have been dealing for years um, processing thin glass. So in the meantime, we have a large suitable um, solution for that, so a large variety of um, glass sizes and uh, thicknesses, so we can process up to 0.4 millimeter thicknesses and size-wise, um, 100 by 100 millimeter up to a diameter of 2,500 millimeter. So that means all shapes who are inside the circle of 2,500 millimeter can be processed in a thin glass configuration. The required thin glass kit can be installed on new deliveries, but we can also uh, upgrade existing lines. Here, here we are on the end of this session. Thank you very much for your attention.
I would like to hand over to my colleague Robert Krauss, who will introduce you our new Hyperfex grinding wheel. <laughs> 